congratulations. You're into your first grass court final of your career. Just talk us through how you're feeling right now. Um, yeah, well, first of all, thank you. Um, I'm, I'm super happy with the way that I that I played, competed. Like, it's super exciting to build my first, first well, first grass court um, finals. So it's going to be fun, exciting match. I'm just happy with the way that I played, and I'm just going to try and enjoy the moment as much as possible. Okay. When you've had these uh, tournaments where you've had the great runs, I think this is your sixth final. Is there any inkling, you know, before the match first ball is hit in the first match of the week that it's going to be a good week for you? Or and did you have any sense this week? No, actually, none at all. Um, you know, I think it actually started after the French Open as we were getting ready for the grass court season. Um, we were working, we were playing uh, first indoor tennis, indoor hard, until we found our grass court. And, you know, I think since then, I was just kind of enjoying my time. I felt good. I felt like uh, lighter. I felt I was hitting the ball well. And I said, oh, maybe this grass court season is going to go well for me. And, you know, I think every day we just kind of kept our head down and worked hard and just tried to try to execute the the game plan that that my coaches have given to me so i'm just happy that so far the results are showing and you know i think we're just going to keep going this way keep enjoying our time and just keep uh keep uh, keep having fun you said you're practicing on an indoor hard court <laughs> i'm curious in what ways does practicing on whichever indoor hard court you are on help to prepare you for grass and in which ways did you still have to make the most adjustments once you got here or to Nottingham. Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually. Um, you know, indoor hard help because the balls fly are extremely fast. So, you know, it was a, it was a quick adjustment to from clay to fast ball hitting. So we just tried to try to get that out of the way as quickly as possible. Uh, my my coaches might put like threw me in the water and said now swim <laughs> so that's basically what happened and I think that's what that's what helped me a lot to like wake me up and just get all those fast twitch muscles going and you know I think that the only adjustment that we needed to do once we got to a grass court was staying lower as the ball doesn't bounce as much it kind of just slides through so you know I think that was the only adjustment we did but Throughout the whole the whole training process, we were working on the footwork, working on the on hitting the ball early, hitting the ball quick, and just trust the instincts. And Lily, you got up to a very fast start today, and then it became a bit of a battle. What do you think was the key to turning that one around for you? Um, I think it's actually forgetting about what was going on. Uh, you know. I did start off really well. I was super happy with the way that I started, and then uh, Maddie broke mm. broke back, which I'm not surprised. She she's a fighter, so you know I think for me it was forgetting about the mistakes that I made, forget about what the great shots that she's made, and just focus on the now on what's what's going on now, which was the return game, and then for me, and then afterwards, focus on my serve. So. And I think I'm happy that I was able to execute that for the most part of the match and just uh, just kind of go with the flow. So, yeah, mm. it's good. Um, I believe there was some news yesterday from um, the Olympic side of things. I know you've been waiting for that call. It must be great to finally get the call. And given the heroics from the Billie Jean King Cup last year, surely you've got your eyes on doubles as well. Yes. Oh, I was so happy once I saw the announcement. It was, uh, it was like, double celebration for us at dinner. Um, once I saw the news, I like shared it with everyone. I didn't even let them tell me. So, you know, I was super, super happy. I'm excited to, to be able to represent Canada uh, this time at the Olympics. And, you know, I'll be playing doubles with, with Gabby. So it'll be super fun. And you no, know, we do have our eyes set on a medal. Uh, so far, we've been playing super well together at the Billie Jean King Cup. And hopefully we can continue that momentum into the Olympics. and just keep having fun and you know for us it's just imposing our game and you know more times than not the results will will, will come um and final question 
a, a draw happened this morning. Um, obviously, you're very much still in the tournament here, and that's probably where your focus is. Um, did you see the draw? You'll be playing against um, Bronzetti in round one. Um, and how do you go about kind of processing the fact there's still a final to play and the Wimbledon draw is already out? Um... Yeah, so I have not looked at the draw, actually, because I am still in a tournament. <laughs> so I think the way that I process things is that I don't, uh, I try not to think about what's going on all around me. Um, right now, I'm in Eastbourne. My mind's in Eastbourne. My, like, physically, I'm in Eastbourne. So, you know, we're just going to try and focus on the finals for tomorrow. And, you know, once we get to London, that's when we'll do our preparations mm -hmm. for, for, for Wimbledon. Thanks. just looking ahead obviously if you could just break down the potential matchups either against jasmine or, or dash yeah um well, both of them they're incredible players um jasmine she's having an incredible season so far she's uh, playing with so much confidence and no doubt and so you know i'm sure that that if i'm playing against her it's going to be a tough match or if i'm playing either of those players it will be a tough match um you know for me it's just the important thing is to execute the game plan um talk with my coaches, see what I need to improve and see what what I need to execute for, for the finals. And you now also, last thing is enjoy the moment, enjoy my time, uh, smile when there's a good point, smile when she hits a good ball. So, you know, try not to, try not to stress over too, stress over it too much.